Hello everyone and I'm going to welcome, welcome you to Scholar Academics where we learn new things, okay? So first of all, I'm going to introduce you to the top topic. My name is Sayed Shamil Ali and in this video, the topic will be how technology is going to impact our lives in the coming future, okay? So as technology is growing, it's getting more beneficial in most of the perspectives, okay? but there are also some disadvantages which we are going to look into today we have observed those disadvantages and we want to discuss them with you so the, i'm just going to give you an example okay a simple example for you to understand and how the problem is contained okay so let's take tesla for example it is a worldwide company started by elon musk okay so Tesla has developed self-driving cars, okay? Now, the people of the world are now have a good mind. So they will one time invest in Tesla, a one car, and they won't have to drive it. It will drive itself and they will go, okay? So that's one of their one-time investment and they'll make it into an asset, okay? So after they make it into an asset, they won't uh, even need any taxis, right? So if they have Tesla, the Tesla, they don't even have to drive it, right? So they will just invest in Tesla and then a lot of taxi drivers, right? They don't, they won't get any profit. So they will eventually lose their jobs, which will create a lot of problems like poor poverty, okay? Poverty. So... According to Google and Quora, the research has found that 17.78 million people worldwide are taxi drivers. The total population of the earth is 7 billion people. So 17 million of the 7 billion, it's still a little bit small, but it is big in the count of numbers, okay? We can't even count to that number, I guess. So 17.7 million, even if 1 million people s survive and they manage to survive, more than 15 million taxi drivers will go into poverty, okay? And that will increase the poverty of the worldwide nation. So that is a very big problem and it has been coming in the transportation industry. And I'm not trying to say that Elon Musk or Tesla is basically their that they're destroying life that's not that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that it is also in different industries such as the food industry but in transportation industry it has already begun and also in food industry now let me give you an example for food industry okay food industry it's like mcdonald's mcdonald has one of the biggest revenue for it's because it's one of the biggest fast food servers and it has the one of the biggest revenues for the restaurants. Now, McDonald's has cashiers and other stuff, right? And other people to take care and manage. But now the cashiers will also get removed, okay? So once they get removed, there will be robot replacements, which will automatically take the money. And also there will be machines where you select the food which you want and it will be served at your table. Now, these machines have already come in in some places. That's the food industry. So many cashiers and servers will also lose their jobs. Okay. Now, that's just the food industry. There are thousands of other industries which will have a lot of workers getting to lose their jobs. Okay. Because this is all because of automation technology and AI. But I'm not saying that you shouldn't create it. You should create it. But in a way of people not going into poverty but there is also a solution so if you want to survive in the coming future you have to learn coding okay so i encourage you to go learn coding coding is basically the programming language of a computer so if you learn coding that it will be very beneficial and you will get a lot of jobs in the IIT. That's why there are a lot of programs such as Whitehead, <laughs> other etc. programs in the world being created to for you to learn coding. Okay, so you should definitely try out coding, and that is going to help you a lot in the future. 
So these were the problems of the future. This is only one part of technology being not helpful, but the other part is very beneficial in some perspectives, okay? So that was a lecture on, well not lecture, an explanation of how technology is going to work in the coming future and how you should learn coding for your good in the future. Coding, okay? So you can learn anything, Shmuel out.